Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Shalom, Most High and Christ Bless. I'm Officer Jonathan, and this is Officer Caleb, my Shalom. leader. We're out here for you so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans in Pittsburgh, in the surrounding area in Pittsburgh. We are out here for you. And y'all might see us out in the streets, and y'all wonder why we out there in the streets. We're out there to show you love. And also, give me Isaiah 28 and 1. Because you'll see us out there, and then you'll wonder, what is those guys talking about? What are we doing? But this is what we're doing. We're out there for you. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, and verse 1. Cry aloud. What? Cry aloud. Read. Spare not. Spare not. Meaning, we're not going to spare anybody's feeling. We got to cry aloud. That's why we speak loud. Just like Christ spoke loud. He spoke real loud, because he had to speak to a Hundreds of men. Read. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. A trumpet. Is that soft? No. Trumpet is loud. Read. And show my people their transgressions. Show my people what? Their transgressions. What is transgression? Transgression is the breaking of the law. And we're going to prove that. Give me that in John. 1 John 3 and 4. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin. Sin transgressive also the law for sin go read for sin is the transgression of the law sin is the breaking of god's laws the laws statutes and commandments that is sin now give me leviticus 19 read this is the book of leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17 thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart Thou shalt, thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Rebuke thy neighbor. Go ahead, read. And not suffer sin upon him. So when we see you in sin or breaking God's laws, we are commanded to come and tell you that you're breaking God's law. Now, what are some of the laws that you don't know? You might know, and then you might not know, but we're going to give you some laws. Here go a law for men. Give me Leviticus 19. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads. Read. Neither shall thy mar the corners of thy beard. Now, you shouldn't round the corners of your head or mar the corners of your beard. You might not know what that is, but we're going to clear it up. We're going to clear it up a little bit better. Give me the, uh, Leviticus 21 and 5. Because with marring your beard and rounding your head, we're going to show you exactly what it is. This is For the, you men. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Baldness upon their head. Michael Jordan, Tyrese, Charles Barkley. You're not supposed to shave your head bald. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're not supposed to shave your head. Read. Neither shall thou shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall thou shave off the corners of your beard. You're not supposed to mar into your beard and make you a chin strap, a goatee, shave it off. So if you got a full beard, you're supposed to be right where your little line, naturally line is. You can trim it up and line it, but you can't shave it. Now, that's for men. That's a simple law that y'all might didn't even know. But we're going to find a law for women. Because when we bring this law out to women, they try to kill us. They want to kill us about this sin right here. You got it? Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Yes, sir. Because these are just simple laws that you think the Most High won't judge you for, but he will judge you for these. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. 
Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Now read, uh, read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now what is it the women wear that pertain to men? Now if you went to any place in any other city or state and you had to go to the bathroom or you didn't know the language and you went in, 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 a, in a different country, how would you know what bathroom to go in? The woman would go in a bathroom with a dress and men go in with pants. Read that. Finish. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. With your pants. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. A dress. A man shouldn't be wearing a woman's dress because a garment is a woman's dress. Read. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Or what? An abomination unto the Lord thy God. Now what is an abomination? Abomination is something disgusting. It's like if you just took a whole bunch of, uh, but we're gonna get it. We're gonna clarify what it, what it is. Abomination, Jeremiah forty-four and four. Mm -hmm. Because I can, I can make up a whole bunch of different things. Like I could take it, spit in the bottle. He can spit in the bottle. We can mix it up and stir it up. That's something disgusting. That's how God feels about a woman in pants, a man shaving his beard. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 44, and verse 4. How be it, I send unto you all my servants, the prophets. He sends his prophets. Believe it or not, we are the prophets the Most High send. Read. Rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. Abominable thing that he hate. What else do the Most High hate? Y'all probably, there's other things that he hate. Give me Leviticus. 11 and 7. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swine. And the what? And the swine. Another word for swine, another name for swine is pork. That is swine. That is unclean. That's unlawful for you. That causes death. That causes high blood pressure. Murder in the streets of Pittsburgh. Believe it or not, men cross-dressing, Women cross-dressing, shaving your head bald, shaving your beard off, eating unclean foods that God told you not to do, that is murder. Give me uh, verse 10. Verse 10. Because it ain't just the pork. There's other things that you might eat that you don't know that's a sin. It's going to get you death by the Most High. He's going to judge you. Read. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas. All that has what? Not fins and scales in the seas. So if it don't have fins and scales swimming along in the sea, read. And in the rivers of all that move in the waters and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. An abomination. So shrimp don't have scales and fins. Lobsters don't have scales and fins. Catfish don't have scales and fins. All that stuff is unclean, unlawful for you. And you're going to get in trouble for that. Jeremiah 44 and 4. Because there's a penalty. Matter of fact, hold that. Give me Zephaniah 1 and 8. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. Sacrifice? What do you do when you sacrifice? You mean kill when the Lord's going to kill. Read. That I will punish the princes and the king's children. That's you men and you women. Read. And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. Clothed with what? Strange apparel. So that's cross-dressing. You men in dresses and you women in pants. God is going to kill you. That's right. Now go back to... Um, matter of fact, give me Acts. 5 and 29. Because you have people say, oh, you can wear pants. Oh, you can shave beard. Oh, the laws is done away with. You can do anything you want to. You can't. Not according to the scriptures. This is the book of Acts chapter 5 and verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God. Who? God. Who? Rather than 
God rather than men. So we ought to obey God rather than men. So if God says you ain't supposed to do this or you can do that, you're supposed to obey him. Bam. Now this is the whole kit and caboodle. Give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Go read. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. The what? The conclusion of the whole matter. The whole kit and caboodle. Read. Fear God. What? Fear God. Fear God. Read. And keep his commandments. And this is the whole duty of man. Believe it or not, the commandment is a woman not wearing pants, a man not shaving his head, not eating swine or pork. That's the whole duty of man. And with that, I say shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.